All right, what's the plan? Well, what there we got? you go. That's a survival kit. Okay. Is this the one from Amazon? Yep. Okay, so here's what happened, guys. Last week, I told Ethan to get on Amazon, get us like a $25 survival kit, and we'll do a survival challenge. I don't even know what's in it. I just told him to pick one out, so, uh, yeah, here we are. It should be decent. I picked it for, like, Kentucky. Oh, heck yeah. It comes with this case. That's a that's a plus. But anyway, so at this video, I'm going to be doing the $20 Amazon survival kit challenge. I'm going to have to catch food, cook the food. They're all with this kit. And... With the exception of my personal survival knife, this one right here. Just because anytime you're surviving, a good knife is always key. But anyways, let's open it up and first figure out what we got. Um, a poncho. Okay. That well, can be used for getting water too. Oh, heck yeah. This could be used for getting water, carrying water, carrying fish. I could probably even build some kind of shelter out of this if I need to. What is this? Oh, heck yeah, dude. Emergency rescue blanket. This is like a heating blanket. From what I know, this is like tin foil but for your body, which I'd say could probably do some cooking too, couldn't it? Yeah. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Next we got some just straight paracord. Heck yeah, dude, this is a good kit. You picked out a good one. I don't exactly know how we're gonna use this, but we're definitely gonna get that going. Next we got this pretty simple carabiner. Um, That'll definitely come in useful. A whistle, Um, in a true survival situation, this would be great, but like I'm not actually allowed to blow the whistle because I'm not allowed to have help. I got this spoon. Oh heck yeah, it ain't no spoon, it's a stinking spork, son. Is it a is it a multi-tool spork? No, it's a string on it. Well, now it's a contaminated multi-tool spork. Well, now it's a broken contaminated. What is going on here? Oh, and it's also a whistle. <sighs> Wait, that's not how a whistle works. No way. Yeah, that's actually a really cool multi-tool. So is this a whistle or not? <laughs> if it is, it ain't no count. Then we got a ferro rod and a strike or whatever that's what we're gonna have to use for fire unless it comes with a match what is those from what i think i think this is kind of like a rope with like some kind of wax on it to i don't know make it light a lot easier or maybe stay lit for longer next we got a tactical pin i don't know in case i need to etch my name into a tree or something i got a compass which is completely useless to me I have not once in my life ever used a compass then we have a knife just in case i didn't have my own survival knife Pretty solid though, I imagine. Well, actually, I don't know if it's solid or not, but it will, I don't know, kill a fish, I hope. We got a survival bracelet, which has a little saw on it right there, and also a little ferrule rod. So that's good, because this little kit has redundancy. And then a flashlight, no which way. doesn't have batteries. Then in here, we got some credit cards or something. Oh no, that's a credit card multi-tool. Is it? Yeah, it's got a saw and everything on it, or it should. Oh heck yeah, and a little piece of paper that I can light if I really need to. Dude, if we catch some kind of fish, I could really scale one with that. That'll come in handy, I'd say. This is a good survival kit, dude. Then we got a band saw. I don't know if you've seen many, much of those but that's gonna be really key if I ever need to cut wood. Then what is this? A bunch of Band-Aids? Yeah, a bunch of Band-Aids. Alcohol wipes, more alcohol wipes. More Those alcohol will burn wipes. good too. Well, that's true. They gave me like a ton of them and then two big bandages in case I like have fell in a out of a helicopter and I'm in this situation. And then last but definitely not least, and this was the one request I had. I said, Ethan, if you get a survival kit, make sure you get one that at least has some kind of fishing line. And he did just that. And I think, honestly, my survival plan, think about it, guys. You got that little uh, hook and all that good stuff. I could definitely catch some bluegill with this if I needed to, but I don't necessarily want to eat bluegill as my first choice. I want to go for something bigger. But what I'm thinking, I could probably use this, catch some smaller fish, then use those fish to catch more fish, if you get what I'm saying, and uh, really work my way up from there. It's so much stuff, it don't even fit back. So Pretty good survival. Kit. That's a pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. We'll open this up and we'll go ahead and get started, or at least try to. Okay, it came with some pliers and tiny hooks. So, pliers. I mean, sinkers, swivels, and tiny, tiny hooks. What is these little things? What? The little green things. The bobbers. And then also gave me a little shrimp, which I think I'm going to use just in case I can't find worms. But I think I shouldn't have a problem finding worms. All right. But anyways, step one is quite literally going to be set this line up in a way that I can actually catch something if that makes any sense since you're the one doing the survival challenge does that mean i still get mountain dew yes here's a question though do you think i can complete this survival challenge uh i mean you're kind of gonna have to that's true i don't really have any options not to exactly and you know i ain't going hungry right chet daniels would be upset all right let's see how much line we got here we got a decent little bit if i don't get it tied up in a knot that'd be the worst thing that could possibly happen is if i got it in a knot straight out of the gate it looks like you're going to i definitely just got it in a knot right away that is not good at all 
And this ain't heavy line anyhow. I don't know. This may be harder than I thought. Good thing they gave me some paracord. I might actually have to use that to catch some fish later. All right, I need a stick so I can actually reach over into the pond. Just in case I didn't tell you guys clear enough, we're go I'm going to try to catch some minnows that big, but then even before then, I need to find some way to carry them. Oh, heck yeah. They never said I couldn't use the packaging. I can fit a fish in that. That'd be a good little pouch. He definitely ain't going to live long, but, well... Did you just rip the pouch? Mm-hmm. I could use a band-aid to fix it, but I ain't that hard for it. I need a stick. Let's go find one. Hey, dude, there's plenty around here. I, buddy, I mean, I just I just can't find a stick. That one right in front of you looks really good. Where? Yeah, that's good. Now you guys probably see why I didn't want to leave my knife at the house. If I'm doing a survival challenge, I at least want to have my own knife. It ain't much of one, but I can probably flip something out there. I'm basically making a cane pole right now, but with a lot, a lot shorter stick. Okay, we're tied that in. Come on this end, tie a hook to it. Dude, is it just me? You hear a beehive? 100%. For these guys, I'm gonna go for the smaller hook. In the kit, a little disappointing. They only gave me two hooks, but it's only 20 bucks, so I guess that's kind of understandable, but even though this other hook isn't really big, I have plans for something for it later. If everything works out the way I want it to. Which, this is survival. That is not guaranteed at all. I just hope you don't get mauled by a bunch of bees. Now, I just happen to know that at this pond, these fish are a little crazy and hungry for anything. So, I'm just going to straight up use this. A little shrimp they gave me. A little clear shrimp. They could have gave me a better color, but... I suppose if you're somewhere with really clear water, this is about the best color you could get. But, we're in muddy water, so it may not actually help us a ton. What if you pulled that in two? And just use that. It probably might be better, but we'll see what I can do with that. I'm going to have to be sure to keep all my stuff, too. I don't want to lose any of this. I don't have a ton as it is. All right, that ain't it, Chief. How long it's going to last before I can finally get a bite here? This probably may take a while. while. It just came with big rain. Dang, that ain't good. She's getting wrapped up my leg. Oh, that'll be good if I can get one. I just need one good one. Oh, I've done got a bite. I got a bite, but he didn't He didn't get it. Dang. I'm going to have to make my bait smaller. I really don't want to break this bait up too much because I may really need it later. So I'm going to just go cut off its tail, save the rest of it because I don't have much to use, and then just stick that on and hope they... Maybe that big part of the string coming off has something to do with it. Well, I, I don't think these fish are that smart. I think that'll catch them, though. It's a little more bite size for them. There's a fish. There we got a fish. Let's sink and go, dude. That's a good one, too. Or at least it is for what I'm doing. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what we're needing right here. Viewer discretion is advised. Now I'm going to just transport that. Because I've only got two hooks. That one and the one I just caught him with. So, unfortunately, three pieces of bait ain't going to do me any good if I only have two hooks to begin with. Now I've got to try to get all this stuff back in this bag. Because i got to keep everything I can. I think those are right there might be the key to my success today and let me show you why all that i have to work with is that hook and that hook this line that they gave me is literally about two pound test so that's not going to catch pretty much anything that's edible unless it's a small bluegill but i don't want to catch a small bluegill i'd like to catch a catfish or maybe even a snapping turtle so what i'm going to do is come back over here to my survival kit use some of this rope that they gave me to somehow tie to that which i can then tie to the hook that way i can attach the hook to one of these ropes i don't know how good that's going to work out because it's still not looking like it's going to work the best dang and ah, this is going to be hard this may actually do it right here a lot thinner yeah, this may be the one right here. Let's see, we don't have much to work with, but it's pretty stout for what it is. If this here can thread through this, then I'm in good shape. We got it right there. All right, so there's that. I'm actually going to tie this in its own little knot. Big figure four right there, all right? Square knot. So now, I can actually tie this to that, a hook to this, just like that. And so now, I can actually tie my pretty thick and long cable to this which can then go in and have a big chunk of meat right here here's the thing about turtles and catfish the good thing about them is that they're not tackle shy which means yes this is a bunch of rope yeah that's a lot of metal but they don't actually care that much a lot of fish would do care like trout this ain't gonna work cut it for trout but for catfish and turtles they don't care that is going to be perfect yes that is a small hook for something like a turtle but at the same time it is also the only option that I have right now. And now, while we're out here and we got plenty of sticks, let's actually go ahead and build a cane pole. 
Maybe even two of them. We'll get to pull out the chainsaw too. Actually, it's a cable saw. It's kind of like miniature barbed wire so that whenever you wrap it around a tree and pull it like this, it'll cut it straight off. Let's go ahead and do it with this one and I'll show you how it works. This one right here, this little poplar looks pretty good. Good candidate. So I'm a first, just start right here. I'm gonna wrap that around the tree. Grab it right there in my fingers. That right there, just twist. <clears throat> It works a lot better if the thing you're trying to cut doesn't exactly give. It's actually cutting pretty good. Yeah, it's a saw. Pretty effective too. And you can take on some pretty big pieces of wood with this too. It's pretty clean cut for a piece of cable. And the best thing about it, it folds up super small. Just like you want on a good survival kit. Now that we're done with that, I'm just gonna clean up this whole branch. All right, we'll go ahead and make this cane pole right now. I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen this so it'll be easier to put in the bank. Should be good right there. We'll grab our actual cord. And then we'll tie this big line straight to this smaller line. And after that, should be good. Now we'll have that. We'll head on down to the pond or the one that we think has catfish and try to get that or a turtle or something. I think this is the spot we're gonna set it because I actually have the ability to get down to the water, but we know this pond has catfish in it, just the same as we know that the river has catfish in it. So if we wasn't doing it here, we'd probably do it at the river. River's a pretty good chance of getting one. But that's the setup. It's really simple, really crude. If we catch a catfish on this, some of y'all may be surprised. Ow! Well, that was dumb. Dang, son. But I may need to get, grab one of them band-aids. Anyways, here's the hook and everything. I'm just gonna grab one of the pieces. I think I'll probably go for the head. It's bloody, it's dead. It kinda had to be dead so that we could get two of them. And plus, I kinda have a feeling that, you know, maybe the dead bloody bait will do better than the live bait anyhow. Generally, live bait does better, but we're targeting catfish and snapping turtles, so it's kind of a toss up. That's our rig though. We'll see how that goes. Since I didn't really give me much line, I'm gonna try to get it out there as far as I can. Increase my chances, I guess, a little bit. Also, I don't wanna give the fish such little line that they have to snap it. I want them to have a little bit of give, so. I'll set out there and then just That'll definitely hold a catfish. It's just what are gonna be the chances that one smells it in time and comes up here Preferably in a, we're hoping to do this within a day. If I can't get food in a day, I'll be on, I'll probably just quit. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm definitely quitting if I can't catch food in a hole. Can't quit. If I can't catch food in a day, I'm quitting, dude. But now I got this other half of the fish, I got a pretty good spot that I think has a turtle in it. All right, guys, so our second location we're setting is actually, believe it or not, right here in this creek. It's not big, it's not fancy or anything, but one day, about two weeks ago, me and Ethan saw a snapping turtle in here, and snapping turtles don't really need a lot. They kind of just need water and food, and that's pretty much it. They can pretty much survive anywhere. So this is gonna be, honestly, a perfect spot. I got pretty much the same rig, except instead of a cane pole, I'm just gonna tie it to this stick and hammer the stick into the ground like that. I think it'll work pretty good. This is gonna be pretty epic. I'm excited to see if we can catch it. We got big bloody bait, so I think that's really gonna be key for helping us out. What are you doing, Jebediah? Yeah, okay. That's the advantages of a full tang knife. There we go. It's set pretty good. Now I just got baited up and I hope that the big turtle comes after it. About 130 degrees out today. It indeed it is. There we go. Piece of dead fish literally just hanging right here. It's going to be hard. If the turtle can smell this, I think it's going to be pretty hard for him to pass this up. He's going to be all over it. He, he's got to be. Not a chance of big and don't get that. That's for now. That's all of our bait sets we can do. I think we just got to go kind of be scavengers and maybe try to find a snake or maybe a big bullfrog or something. Maybe even some berries or something because it is blackberry season. Yeah, let's go do that because it's kind of hot right now and I want to go in the shade. All right, guys, so uh, we've, we've set those. That's good and everything. Now we need to move on to, like I was kind of saying about redundancy, we need a plan B for food. And so while those are working, they may take one, two, four, six hours to work. I don't really know. It all depends. In case that doesn't work, we need to find a plan B. And uh, I think we can do that. Right over here is a snack, and it's blackberries. I knew these were in season right now, which is great because they're really easy, and they are really good to taste. But check them out. We actually ate some blackberries on one of our videos recently. It was this one right here, eating only what I 
catch for 24 hours and blackberries actually came in for a pretty good snack which we caught plenty of food in that one but in this one i'm only allowed to use what was in the survival kit so finding food might be a little bit harder blackberries might play a bigger role in today's video <laughs> yeah but for real though, these are great what was that what is that here at yeah it's a bird oh as soon as i get a couple more blackberries we're gonna go make a spear just in case something pops out Maybe even a frog. I'll take a frog, 100%. Let's make me a spear. I have a feeling we may find a snake today. And I don't want to find the snake without my spear. Oh, heck yeah, there's honeysuckle. Y'all don't know what a honeysuckle is. It's these things right here. And if you play your cards right, they have honey in them. Or something that tastes like honey, I'm not sure. Well, what you do, check this out. This ain't going to give you much energy, but it'll give you a little taste every now and again. So there they are. You'll come back here, pull the tip off like that, to where you don't break the big long thing. And then you just pull it out. And there should be, can it see it pretty good? Yep. And there should be like a drop of honey that comes out. Yep, see it? Not much. Yeah, it ain't much at all. You can taste it a little though. Yeah, you can taste it. It definitely ain't going to give you any, many calories, but hey, it's better than nothing. Yeah, there we go. It ain't much. This may be all right, ain't it? Yeah. It's pretty stiff and can probably definitely kill a raccoon, but... That's just as good as any. I mean, it's all heavy duty, but I'll make it. Hey, this is where we need to get the firewood, too. Mm-hmm. Because this is good wood right here I'm cutting into. I don't know what kind it is, though. Probably maple. I don't know. There we go. That's a pretty good point. The main thing I'm wanting to stick for is not so much to literally stab a snake, but to just kind of maneuver him around and hold him down to where I can eventually do what I need to do with this. Now I got a pretty decent stick. I can whack a raccoon off a tree, sling it up there, javelin a squirrel on the side of the face, anything I need to do. Perfect. And defend myself from a mountain lion if I need to. Perfect. Hey, here's water bottle. Oh heck yeah, water bottle, son. I'm sure I can probably, I don't know. I'll use this for something though. I ain't drinking the water that's in it. But I can definitely use it for something. Right, guys we've gave the traps time that one over there it just didn't work it, the bait was gone i'm not really sure what happened to it who really knows it could have been crawdads but this one over here it's not taut but it's definitely not in the same spot where it was earlier i don't know man i mean i feel i feel a uh, fish head there's gotta be something tried to eat it at least hopefully we got it oh no we don't no nothing and they took her bait too dang what's plan b then you to scavenge more bait we can definitely get more bait is that what we want to do though? Not as well. About your only shot. Oh well, we're going to do something. All right guys, so here's basically the supplies that we've gathered since, um, uh, I don't know, probably the last time you've seen it. We got that one water bottle. We came up with a five gallon bucket and uh, obviously we got that firewood that we was cutting up earlier. Here's the thing though, we could go back to that pond and get more live bait. But I'm thinking, I mean, there's minnows right here in this creek. Let's just try to get those somehow. I don't know how that's going to be, though. I don't know the plan to get them. I know we can. I just don't know how we're going to do it. There's a chance we could get them to bite just like the fish did. But I think we just pull out this fishing line and try to do the same thing we did. At least we can attack vertically like this. Also, guys, if you were actually interested in this survival knife that I've been using the whole time, it's actually a KG knife, and it's the KG survival knife. It's a full tang, which means the blade and the handle is all one piece of metal. That way, nothing can really break on this thing. Like you've seen earlier, I was using it as a hammer. It comes with a Kydex sheath specially made for it, and the best thing about this sheath, in my opinion, and the way that I designed it, you don't need a belt to use it. You just need something to clip it right through there. So you could even clip it to your pocket just like that. 
And that's really what I like about it. But if you want one of those, or even a shirt like this, you can go to kendallgrade1.com slash shop, or first link in the description. Use promo code DELTA, and you'll get 10% off the KG Survival Knife for the next three days. So promo code DELTA, all caps, 10% off this thing. But as for now, we're going to try to catch some manners. That right there is what I'm fishing with now. It's small and clear. It's nothing special, but it might be good enough to catch some of these manners. They don't exactly see food all the time. I got to be pretty uh, soft on my feet here because they're literally right under me. I'll just drop it in and shake it a little bit and see if one will bite it. My plan, if I can catch some of these, I want to go live bait and uh, not kill it this time and make cut bait. Can you look? No, not at all. It only takes one to come eat it though. Let's try the other side. Well, I think we can probably go on over there to that other pond and probably get some. Let's see what you can do. There's one. Nope, I got a bite though. Hot ham and cheese is there good. There she is, boys. There she is. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this water bottle because I'm trying to keep these for live bait now. I'm actually going to put them in the water bottle and transport them, but I'm going to. Yeah, there we go. We got a fish in a bottle. Bet. We're going to start selling those $7.99. Yep. I'll sign them for 10. All right, now, as long as I don't take three years to catch the next one, he should have plenty of oxygen. Oh, well. Yeah, he fits. There we go. Two cool looking fish. In a bottle. Yep. All right, bet. There we go. Okay, guys, it is the next day. What we did is yesterday we didn't actually catch a turtle, so we decided just to let them sit overnight. We had this one in the same spot it has been, but then that one that was in the creek, we went ahead and got it and put it actually on the other side of the pond. What are you thinking? Might have something. Nope, nothing on this one. I don't know, let's go check the other one. The other one was there right here, and I'm about positive we got one. Yeah, we do. I set it right there, that little uh, thing, just barely tossed it in, not very far at all, and then you can see how dirty and bubbly it is. And then if you look closely, you can even see the line kind of twitching back and forth. Oh yeah, he's definitely not, yep, that's definitely a turtle. Okay, he's not super massive, so I can probably just grab him right here. You gotta be careful with turtles, because uh, yeah, they can do kind of whatever they want to to you. I can grab him down here at the butt. Gosh, I can't hardly do anything with it. His claws are razor sharp. He smells like a... Really bad. Big snappy turtle, eh? Yeah. Big snappy. He's not the biggest snappy turtle in the world, but at the same time, he's in my pond. I needed something to eat today. And he's in my pond eating fish, so it's a great thing that we got him out. He's mean. Yeah, he's mean. He fits in the bucket perfectly. I think I'm just gonna leave him in there until it's time to eat him. That way he can be as fresh as possible. We'll set him in the back, then we gotta go home and start building a campfire or whatever actually cooking and they stinks too it smells like the bottom of a pond probably because that's where he is all right so as you could imagine the next step for this turtle is that I gotta kill it with only the things in the survival kit and my knife of course but uh I don't really know what I'm gonna have to do to kill one with a knife because I mean they're reptiles so they're still gonna be kicking and stuff even when you kill them and with the knife I feel like you kind of have to go for the head and a turtle's head you know also has like a pair of sharpened pliers on it, so it's gonna be a task here. I'm just gonna have to kill it with a knife. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, and I'm sure YouTube doesn't want you guys to see this, so I will catch you guys after this turtle's dead somehow. And um, yeah, after that we gotta skin it, which also is not gonna be easy. Okay. I do, we did it. First round, decapitation. No problem. No problem. But now on to the second objective and the main objective. What part of this am I going to eat? And yes, you can see he is like, I don't know, what is it? he's a reptile, amphibious reptile. He's still going to be able to move and try to grab me the whole time. So his head is completely gone. It's laying over there. But this guy's still going to be able to grab me. But the main thing now is me trying to figure out what parts of this I want to eat today and what parts I want to save for later. Now traditionally, whenever you'll eat a turtle, you'll actually take the shell completely off and so that you have the body and all the legs on themselves. The problem with that is that with the few tools I have, which are pretty much two knives, that's going to be very hard to do. So what it's looking like I'm going to have to do is somehow skin one of these legs off without actually getting the shell off. Because the shell, that's a lot easier said than done with what I got. I think I'm just going to go for one of these legs though. I'll go ahead and get started on that. I'll go ahead and use this knife. It's it's pretty good. Or the tail is usually pretty tasty as well. Really? Oh yeah, every part of this. Apparently there, there's supposed to be seven different meats on a turtle. 
What they mean by that is that there's seven different tastes of meat. So you can find fish in the neck, you can get chicken on the breast, things like that. I'm just gonna go for this leg right here, but I do need him to preferably stop trying to claw me for me to do that. All right, here we go. Sharper the knife, the better. Luckily, we got a pretty sharp knife right here with us. Oh, yeah, you can see the fat in there. It's all my little fish he's been eating. Guys, we just got the turtle. What I think is done. It's pretty um uh, interesting, I guess. You can definitely see that there's patches of white meat, and then literally right beside it, patches of red meat. It's been smoking for a decent little while. I think it's ready to eat. So um, yeah, I mean, I could have had a lot more if I wanted it, but we just really wanted one leg right now. I don't want to try to cook no turtle. That actually take a while. Pretty good looking, honestly. I mean, it's kind of just a lot of muscle stacked into one piece. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. First piece, here we go. I'm coming into the video for a minute to tell you guys about one of the biggest sales we've ever had on kindlegrave1.com slash shop. We have all these things here that's all on sale, big old price cuts. And then on top of that, you can use promo code JULY, all caps, to get 10% off site-wide on top of the things that are already on sale. So if you want to check that out, first link in the description, check it out. Couldn't imagine it being that great. No, it ain't. One thing we forgot to do with turtles is that usually whenever you catch a turtle, you want to soak it in water for about a week so that all the mud can get out of its system. Uh, we didn't do that, and I can uh taste it. But I mean, it ain't it ain't awful. It's um it's definitely not good. I'd rate it a what? Um, about a two out of ten. That ain't awful. What does it even remind me of? I don't really like turtle even whenever it's actually cooked, let alone over a fire. I mean, think about what it actually tastes like. It tastes like dirty water and mud and old hot dog. But it will sustain my life for at least a couple days. Guys, if we can get 10,000 likes on this video, we're going to come out here and we're going to do a knife only challenge where I have nothing but a knife and I have to figure out how to do all this. Click right over here if you want to see a 1v1 survival challenge we did or over here for all my survival related videos. Oh, pop out, pop out, pop out. <laughs> <clears throat>